Good afternoon. Welcome to today's uh, lesson on section 7.6, Solving Exponential Logarithmic Equations. Um, I'm going to try to keep this as short as I can because I do have a meeting at 3 o'clock today. Um, so these examples are uh, straight from the book, and I put the example number and page number next to each problem. And they do involve all the properties that we've talked about um, over the video from the weekend as well as um, last week. So here we have the equation 4 to the x equals 1 half to the x minus 3. One thing you could do is convert 4 and 1 half. powers of 2. So for example, I know 4 is 2 squared, so 4 to the x can be rewritten as 2 to the 2x. And 1 half can be rewritten as 2 to negative 1. Using your properties of exponents, I can multiply 2 and x, multiply negative 1 with x minus 3. And because these are the same, the bases are the same, the exponents must also be the same. So therefore, 2x equals negative x plus 3, 3x equals 3, or x equals 1. We should also check our work. So if you check it really quick, we have 4 to the 1 power. It was 1 half raised to the 1 minus 3 power. So 4 equals 1 half to negative 2. Of course, you flip over the 1 half, you get 2 squared. 4 equals 4, so it's all good. Let's try another one. Example 2. Um, actually, there's a typo here. I apologize for that. That should just be a plain old 11. So 4 to the x equals 11. Now here we have a dilemma, because 11 can't be written as a power of 4, nor can be written as a power of 2. Uh, or actually it can be, but just we don't know what it is, because it's going to be some weird decimal for the exponent. So here's what you can do log both sides. If you log both sides, because remember, log is inverse of exponential functions. So essentially a log undoes an exponent. So this allows us to isolate the exponent. Using our power rule, the properties we talked about earlier this week, um, you can say x times log 4 equals log 11. So therefore, x equals log 11 over log 4. Because x can be multiplied by log 4, and you can divide both sides by log 4. If I work this out on the calculator, and I'm just using common logs here, you will get 1.730. You could also do ln, your choice. You still will get the same thing if you punch in your calculator. And you would need a calculator to do this, and I will give you a calculator, or allow you to use one. So just log both sides to isolate the exponent. And using the power rule, you can get x by itself. Um, you also could check it, if you check really fast, 4 raised to the 1.730 power equals 11. Use my calculator, if I raise 4 to the 1.73 power, we do get something that's pretty close to 11. So that's close enough. Okay, number 3. Now we have a logarithmic equation. Now because We have the same base. The expressions must be the same. So 4x minus 7 has to equal x plus 5. Uh, this is only used, only can do this way. if just one log 
on each side. And nothing else. So 3x equals 12, x equals 4. If we check, the log base 5 of 4 times 4 minus 7 equals log base 5 of 4 plus 5. So you have log base 5 of uh, 9 equals log base 5 of 9. So we know it works. For number 4, you want to use the definition of log. Remember the definition of log is this. So you want to rewrite. So 5x minus 1 equals 4 cubed. So I'm just using all these properties we've talked about. 5x minus 1 equals 64. 5x equals 65. x equals 13. Um, and if we test it out, or if we check it out, So you know it works. And lastly, example five. Um, darn, no typo, my apologies. So you should just have this. So now in this case, what you want to do is use your log properties. So you can multiply 2x to x minus 5. And also realizing that we don't see a base, we use base 10. And at the same time, we're going to distribute the 2x into x minus 5. So remember, common log. Base is 10. And like we did in number 4, we rewrite it or shift it to exponential form. So basically, this raised to that power will be on the other side. And we have 2x squared minus 10x on the other side. So we can work it out. O equal 100. Move it over. And we can solve by factor. So we get two answers, 10 or negative 5. Now, if you think about it, can, will both of these work? Going back up here, if I plug in negative 5, you're going to be logging a negative number, which is impossible, because there's no way for example, if I plug in negative 5 into the first log, you have log of negative 10. Remember, the base is 10. So 10 to the y power equals negative 10, that's impossible. It cannot be done. Because you can never have an exponential function equal a negative value if your base is positive. So, just check really fast. Log. Or I forgot the problem. 2x. So 2 times 10. Plus log. Of 10 minus 5. Equals 2. So it'll be log 20. Plus log 5 equals 2. That combines to being log 100, because you can multiply 25, base 10. So 100 does equal 10 squared. So it checks out.
But if I do for x equals negative 5, you can see why this is a problem. You have log of negative 10 plus log of negative 25 equals 2. I'm sorry, it would be log of negative 10. And sure, you can combine to get log 100, but the problem is you can't log negative numbers. So that's why negative 5 is no good. So the answer should be plain old 10. Okay, so that concludes the video. Hopefully you liked the short video. And uh, there'll be a few problems like to try on your own, and we'll do more practice next time we meet in class. All right, have a good rest of the day.